in Glenfair Lanes, Glendale, Arizona, here for the title matches of the Desert Open Marathon Tournament. It has been a marathon. Three grind patterns. Still standing in the stretch region are three seed Eric Hatchett, and that right there was five seed Joey Grandin. Both bowlers opened in the first. That's a strike in the second for Joe. Marks are not that easy to come by. Strikes are super hard to come by. Pulled on a very flat 40 some odd foot, 48 foot pattern in the middle, but low volume in the middle and flat like we talked about. And it's just the, the typical out of bounds that you'll see on those super long patterns to the right. As a result, Eric Hatchet is standing in front of the ball return. He will start his push away first, then take little bitty steps. Gets it all back in timing right at the foul line. You see the trouble there. If you leak it to the right at all, it will not wrinkle. He's just trying to do a dead fade, but you still got to be accurate when you do it. Joey essentially doing the same thing. Eric, however, has an important asterisk to that. Has not necessarily been doing this all day. He had pulled a Amleto Monicelli from the 80s. And, yeah! Great job converting the washout. Prior to the semifinal matches, he had thrown the entire match play segment, which was best three out of five matches, just dead killing it, hard and straight, just firing it at the head pin hoping to fill frames and hoping his opponents would make enough mistakes where that would win. And it was just enough to get by Sergio Torres in round two and enough to get by Blaine Hurst in round one. But when he made one of his moves over the course of the weekend was at the tail end of this block of qualifying where he got in extremely far left and had a couple really good games to finish off that block. So, see right over the sixth arrow. Pretty good ball right there. A little bit of a half ten for him. Rondon, meanwhile, worked his way through match play qualifying fifth. Got by Heather Penitzer in a great match, even though it only went four games. That was a. They're, they're both super nice kids. It had to be some sweet revenge for Rondon right there as Heather eliminated Joe at the stepladder at the New Mexico Open with her lady pins involved. No lady pins this time were needed. Joe got by that one, then got by Matt Zwieg in the second round, and then pulled the upset off over tough seed Russ Oviatt, who looked like no one was going to touch him this weekend. Russ was brilliant on all three patterns. As the top seed, he got to choose the pattern that they bowled match play on, so he chose this long pattern, but eventually uh, succumbed to Grand in the, in the semifinals. Wow! As Joe flashes the okay whatever sign, that certainly didn't look like an 8-10 roll on it. You can't see it when he's throwing that, that solid black ball, but Joe throws a tank down there. That's uh, incredibly unusual. Almost a little hair of a backup ball, but throws away a pin there, and that's two pins account on the scoreboard, and a lot of these matches when they're grind fests come down to a count battle. Hey, Riley and Ronaldo, you should be good to go. Ahoy there. <laughs> you should be okay now. <laughs> Ahoy. To the left, I was just speaking about Riley and Ronaldo. They are the Yulande brother-sister combo. It's our another Venus Serena situation as they have worked their way to play each other for the handicap title match. Got to get through a lot of bullets to get to that point, so hats off to Clan Yulande. Just you gotta peg exactly what you're looking at in terms of angle, release, speed, everything. And just get the ball, ah, get the ball towards the head pin and have a chance of it as we're gonna have to have a respot here. The lanes have been working great all week, to be honest, and now we've had like a respot uh, and all kinds of things. We're gonna have to add the four to that. Eric Bowling in his final JBT event as a JBT age eligible bowler, turned 22 during the course of the season. Does not have plans to bowl tour trials, which is the last event he would be eligible for. So this is it. He would love to win one more title in his swan song. Outstanding career, 17 career titles. Started bowling as just a youngster. Brunel is the younger bowler of the Yulin Day. She's 13, going against again 14-year-old older, older brother. She's going to have to beat older brother by 29 pins in order to win that match. That's because these are practice balls. 
It's Derek's fault. The parents are out of control. It's Derek's fault. It's not Derek's fault. Derek's the one that started it. Nothing has been Derek's fault since 1883. We are not going to start now. That's Derek's story. He's sticking to it. Someone missed his final desert open. Darn it. Tour trials? Yeah. He's still got one more in him, man. Wouldn't that be interesting if Eric, if Eric, Eric, and Dick, Eric and Derek both go out with a win? That would be. That would be. I mean, half this <laughs> Derek trying to claim half a title here. Joey's got that Finn Reese about he's going to go hard and straight, almost a backup ball. Well, almost indeed, exactly a backup ball. Got it. Hard and straight when the conditions are hard is an absolute must for your spares. You're not going to survive without having that skill. So Eric continuing with the game plan that Derek suggested of getting in front of the ball return and doing that very, very steep fade shot. I mean, part of it is judging your opponent's pace, too. With Joey continues to open. I wonder if Eric's going to get away from this and just start to try to kill friends. Then again, why would you get away from it when he makes it look that good? That was nicely done there. Joey getting a quick plug in for, for Nesty Pure Life Water. Do you see how he tried to just wing that by the camera? That was very nice, Joe. <laughs> Are you done your practice now? Are you done your practice? Okay. They have the practice session that would not end over there, but we have continuous Meanwhile, nothing but strikes as we were getting the handicap division started over there. Joey caught one in the fifth for his first mark on the right-hand lane. While Eric consolidated his shot for a real pretty double. Joey wanted, wow. Joey wanted that ball to push. It almost pushed right into a bucket or worse. Instead, he shreds the rack for a double of his own. takes the lead with that double hatchet trails by eight. We can go back and forth and have him in the lead if he can strike here in the six. That's 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 not what I told them. That's not what I told them. That is not what I told them. wanted to get at least one more false start on camera, which he did. All right. When you play super deep here at Glen Ferry, you get a lot of those double dribbles. So you got to get that in just the right place. He did. He's caught the triple. He's regained a two-pin lead, which he can extend to 12 as he's up quickly here on the left-hand lane. Seventh frame, Desert Open title match. He's 
can I get the shot off before Riley bowls? They're all sitting waiting for the other to go. Riley doesn't realize Eric takes that much time, I think. That looks really good. Wow, did he care of that ball? I guarantee you he really wants that one more win before he's done as well, too. Hasn't done as much winning as he had probably hoped for this season. He's had some really rotten breaks in title matches the last few years of his career. So this would go a long way to erasing some of those baddies. Joe out of here as well, but not because of age, because of school. He's off to uh, make Wichita State even more dominant. That ball was leaked up early to right. Kind of lucky to only leave the 2-5, though that's a tricky little spare down there. By the way, you're welcome, Wichita State, for Wesley and Joe and Tez and Christian and about 50 other people I'm forgetting through the years. You're welcome. Wow, so he switches to the other ball and does the backup ball thing. That's interesting, but got the job done. Among other things, this is what they're playing for, the most coveted trophy in JBT, the beautiful, famous glass cacti. I'm big, big trouble. You just can't get away with missing the single spares when it's so easy to open the difficult ones. Now, here, I'm kind of surprised Eric just doesn't start throwing it down the middle. It's close to locking this match. Very sweet ending to some bittersweet ends. Never mind. He's making. He's making fallback from six arrow look awful good. Well, there's been very little look no matter where you played in this pattern. It's amazing how one win makes a lot of the bad ones go away. And you no know, face paint. No uh, real major shenanigans. I heard, I heard nothing about any lost bets this week. There was no mini golf catastrophe this week. Through the ups and downs, it's been a joy to have him around. And he got the storybook ending he was looking for. Keep on grinding. Great result after great result. On his way to fantastic things. Tough, tough bowler. Uh, coming in second after 15 games of qualifying and 5, 10, 12, 13 games of match plays. Tough bill to swallow. Make sure you turn into part two to watch Rennell and Riley go at it for the handicap title.
where it was, Joey. Should have could have been. And it's our awe moments. Hatchet's last turn. Of course he has <laughs> After all the grief Hatchet has given me over the decades, am I really going to gift grab his finale? I mean, LeBron's got these three straight finals. Hatchet can't lose the last <laughs> turn. Uh, especially after all the losses he had this year. So is, is Derek going to win trials then? Is that just how it's going to work? Sneak out the pocket. This is the longest string of strikes we have had since Russ Bold qualifying, basically. <laughs> this guy destroyed him earlier. And now he's just uh, watching in awe with the rest of us. Well, how about finishing out your JBT regular career with one, two, three, four, five, six, nine in a row on, on the parking lot, essentially. Or a nice, nice hitting rink over top of our gun. Well, no. What a run, though. It'll be in the uh, two, what is that, 240s? 240s. Be high game of the day. High game of the day, quite possibly. And title 18 for the old man. trying to kick him out for five years, now he's just going to do it anyway. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jordan. Everybody named Ulande is left. Should be an exciting handicap finale. We'll have that in just a couple minutes.